Hello, and welcome to the second season on the ice here at Wasota Fishing. For those that are new to the channel, my name is Ryan. I live in western Wisconsin. Wasota Fishing covers fishing throughout Minnesota and Wisconsin. Last season, Mother Nature reared its ugly head, dropping massive amounts of snow, which had not been seen in 40 years that dominated the headlines. The National Weather Service says we are well above average for snowfall totals for this time of year. Mother Nature's wintry mood appears to have overstayed its welcome this year. This stifled my game and halted my goal of catching the biggest panfish under the ice, as the snow drifts made it difficult to navigate the ice. I'm optimistic Mother Nature this season will let me put my boots to the ice and go after these giants. For first ice this season, I'm going to try something different by throwing new tackle down the hole. New year, new gear, why not? In the past, I've never really fished with plastics, and the times I did with them, I did not have much success. I don't know what the secret to plastic is, but I've never had much luck with it. I reached out on the ice shanty message board looking for recommendations. I got a reply with some different options from a vendor, so I took a chance and ordered some from Your Bobbers Down, located in Michigan. I'm going to pair this with the Clam Silky. I've never fished with these before, but heard all the rave reviews with stores running out of inventory. I do not have any problems plugging different companies if their products work. And just as a note, this channel is non-sponsored and all my gear is paid for with my own money. The gear I use is what works for my purposes. Here's the video that will show you how I did with the new plastics. As always, thanks for tuning in. And without further ado, let's break the ice. Rigging up what I'm gonna to use today for fishing. So I'm gonna go with this little pink uh, Lindy jig. It's um been pretty battle tested. It's, there's a little bit of uh, paint chipping on it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that's what I'm going to go with. I always seem to have the most success with this. And then I'm going to throw on one of these silkies, uh, pink silkies. So I'm just going to put the ball right in the middle of the hook here. There we go. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do here is just push it gonna push it all the way up here against the bottom of the jig and then as the silk threads uh, get in the water they mimic a fly you'll see the the threads here start going up and down as you as you jig so this is what I'm gonna pair it with so it'll kind of look like a little fly jig and then here's the plastics have the beaver tail and then i have some dupies and white i'll probably start with the beaver tails first and then if i don't have any luck i'll switch over to the dupies so yep that's the setup i'm going with today just bringing the one rod the bull whip and um fish for a few hours and see what kind of luck i have so we made it out to the lake here, trying a new lake about an hour north of home. I'll show you a breakdown of the spot that I chose. So breaking down this lake, this was a small basin lake. And what I wanted to do was target the contours. Um, what I'm focusing mostly on is this 15 foot contour. I just wanted to fish right on the edge of it because the crappies tend to roam right around the edge of these contours. So that's where my focus was on. Beautiful day though, you can't beat it. it 39 degrees walking onto the ice. I was checking the ice yesterday. There was a, a family out playing with their dogs and the ice seemed like it was in good shape. I found five, six inches pretty consistently, at least close to shore. 
family actually had somebody from Virginia Beach on the ice for the first time, so that was pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know if I want to go too much further out, so I think I'm going to stick around here. I'm not super comfortable with the ice yet, so we'll give this a shot. Kind of a drop-off point here, so maybe we can get some crappies. I'm not going to lie, though, it still kind of feels sketchy out here. or so. Let's see we have for depth here being that we're under 20 feet of water. I'm gonna go with a little power mode on the Vexilar. Yeah it looks like we're about 13, 13 and a half feet or so. Yeah, it's dropping down. I'm just kind of finagling the rod here right at the bottom. Six inches to a foot off. Not real aggressive jigging here, just kind of nice soft ups and downs with the rod tip here. Feels good just being out here again. It's, you know, it's been a while. Can't beat first ice. You don't have to bring a ton of gear. It's, it's simple fishing. It's fishing at its core. You just need the basics. Sometimes less is more. You're not seeing a ton of action right now, so I'm going to move around, punch some more holes, see if I can mark any fish. Yeah, check out this new hole I just drilled. If the fish aren't biting, you don't want to stay in the hole too long. You want to be moving around as much as you can. Alright, I think we got some action here. Marking fish. Come on, fellas. Now we were marking fish at the beginning. Now they kind of disappeared. Unfortunately, the fishing did not get any better as the day progressed. It was a very finicky bite as the fish investigated the bait, but I could not coax them into taking it. None of the plastic seemed to be working. I was able to get on the fish, but could not land anything today as the sun set. I called it a day. It was a great day to get outside, enjoy the outdoors, and be on the ice for the first time this year. The next time I head out fishing, I will definitely be taking my waxies along. Feel free to leave a comment below if you have any techniques for catching fish on plastics, because I sure as heck have no luck. Thanks for watching to the end, and I hope to see you in the next video.